Hey y'all, welcome to Farm Girl Friday. So, a little bit about what I do on the day to day, especially in the summertime, is keeping up my fence maintenance. This is what every farmer has to do, but instead of spraying my fence lines, I go down with a weed eater 99.9% .9 of the time and weed eat the weeds and the grasses out from under my fence. So throughout the summer, my brother, he'll come out here and bush hog my fence lines for me and then I'll come along behind him whatever he couldn't get with the bush hog, I will weed eat. This time around, the last time he bush hogged for me, I was sick and I couldn't weed eat the fence line. So you can tell it's pretty tall, even where he bush hogged for me, but the cows are about to go over and eat it again. So I'm not gonna have him bush hog it again. I'm just gonna go and clip under the fence. So this is maintenance to keep my fences up, my power high and my voltage high on my fences as protection to keep my cows in and to keep other critters out. So I always keep this fence as good as I can and the maintenance on it pristine. Like I have fence insulators in my pocket. I know there's at least two broken insulators down the fence line, just things running into them. And my reels are pretty heavy. So sometimes I just put too much of a strain on my little insulators. So I'm gonna go through and replace them just to make sure everything's kept nice and taut to keep my cows safe. <laughs> To come along for some work today and we come out here pretty early in the morning to get this done because we are getting up to in between 90 and 100 degree days here at the end of june so we come out here pretty early and get started on this this weed eater has been in the family for three generations papa bought it Petey stole it and now i use it but she's a good one <laughs> i put her through a lot and she's still alive. Daddy's had to do some rigging on it. So if I lean my elbow over too far, I'll electrocute myself. So somehow I have learned how to not do that while I'm working. But I turn my, a lot of farmers keep their fences on while they do this. I turn mine off because any electric shock there, I just, if I touch the fence, my fence is so hot with this thing, I get all the juice. And so I just, I will throw it like five foot to get it away from me. So I turn my fences off for the safety of my poor weed eater. All right, let me. So here's a bit of a predicament you'll run into while you're weed eating. <laughs> So when I'm in taller grasses, they tend to wrap around my weed eater head and then you just have to remove them because they choke you down. And they're actually hot when you're pulling them off because of all of the, how fast your weed eater head's going around and spinning. So simple fix, but it is kind of annoying, especially when you're in tall grasses for a long period of time. Another thing to think of when you're out here weed eating is you need the proper PPE, so protective wear equipment. So I always, always have my eye protection on because any little thing can pop up and come hit you in the eyeball. It's happened to me way too many times for me not to be prepared. And the other thing, I wear a long skirt, same as somebody wearing some long pants out here weed eating. Even though it's hot, you don't want something hitting your legs. So just some things to think about. When you're out here weed eating, if you already do, you know. <laughs> Come on, cows. 
what you doing? Mm. What? Complaining, complaining, complaining. Yeah, we're not going to move them today. We just set the fence up so I can easy move them tomorrow. Yeah, and they, they just, they, they ain't pleased. Y'all got to keep eating where you're at. Hey, Glisten. She's like, we just got nothing. Walked all the way over here for nothing. Yeah, I was over there in the shade. Flisson said, get out of my way, boy. Get out of my way, boy. Lasses! How you feeling? Butt. <laughs> I'm coming over to visitate. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing, boy? Queen of Sheba's here. Hey, baby. And as we can all can see, molasses still hasn't popped yet. Still on baby watch. I'm praying she has it before the 2nd of July. That's the prayer. And Glisten. We came up with the fact that Glisten is in every video because she makes sure she's in every video. Because she's the bestest girl, aren't you? Aren't you my bestest? Say so, yeah. I would think they'd be scared of me, but instead they're just following me around. So here's a good comparison of before a fence lines we needed versus after, at least on one side. I'm gonna go on the other side and get it too. I saw something rather creepy. Where was it? Oh, here it is. Big old snake skin running down through my fence line. That's always nice. So I'm out here trying something new. My cows are looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, so mounted reel on T-post. My arms, woohoo, are full of posts which I'm putting out. String tied to belt loop. Can we make it to the other end of this field, which is behind me, like this, without getting in a tangle, without the reel falling off the post, and without me dropping all of these posts and getting tangled up? Anyway, because we have one man band today, which on my best days, I guess I'm a one man band, but we're going to try and see if this crazy daughter of MacGyver idea <laughs> works. Oh boy. It's rolling. It's rolling. Ah! All right, taking a moment to enjoy the view. But we are officially halfway down the line and it's still dragging behind me pretty good, but I can't see the reel anymore. My cheerleader is all the way down. Okay, please do not look at my very sad squiggly line of the fence. I wasn't really paying attention to staying in a straight line versus keeping this from getting tangled up. But we made it all the way to the other end. I can't believe that worked. Might not work every time, but it worked today. So now instead of carrying the whole rail all the way down to the other end, we had the end of the poly wire with us and I'm just walking it up keeping it taut and hooking it where I want it on the post you can do this part as fast as you can walk if you're good enough to hook it in there on your first try I was not when I first started but we have improved <laughs> and the last one this one I do it around a couple times so it keeps the whole thing taut Hard to do with foam. There we go. All done. Y'all ready? 